Jay, how would you assess this game? Not good enough. Not good enough in any way to a man. Uh, not good enough. Was this the worst game the Oilers have played this playoff season? Oh, I think your the answer to your question is obvious. Um, not good enough tonight. Thank you. Hey, from a five for a five on five perspective, you guys played very well in game two. What changed tonight in that in that regard? Yeah, I didn't think we skated well. I didn't think we were hard enough in certain areas, and um, to a man, not our finest hour in any way. Zach Hyman obviously went down there at the, at the, the end of the first period and labored on throughout the course of the game. How did that kind of affect, you know, the the way you were able to kind of run your lineup just in the way he was kind of laboring? Uh, I, I didn't see that. I thought he um, thought he gave us some good shifts and uh, worked his way through the game just fine. Felt good about using him all the way through the end of uh, the third period when we were on the power play. This, so the power play has been such an integral part of your team yep. all season. What was the impact of, of just really not really having any for 55 minutes? Um, you know, it, I mean, we don't control how many power plays we get. So, um, you know, what was the impact was that we didn't have a full power play until probably four minutes left in the game. Two of the three games, Jay, where you're, I mean, your players are admitting that they're not, didn't bring what they wanted to. Is any concern that it's two of the three games that it hasn't been there for them the mm. way they want it necessarily? No, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, to dress tonight up in any other way other than uh, not good enough uh, would be false. Say it would, not good enough to a man, all of us. Uh, not good enough. Um, is it disappointing? Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, but we understand how, you know, the type of game and type of team we are uh, and what we're capable of. Um, in the end, um, whether you lose this game one nothing in overtime or you lose it the way we lost it, um, you know, with... There's things to learn and take out of this game, and we're going to have to be better. Uh, but in the end, they have they have two wins, and we have one. It's about us, um, you know, making sure that doesn't happen again. Partway through that game, you know, the group knows that <clears throat> they're up against it and trying to find their game. Yep. Some nights you can correct, and some nights it just doesn't seem to come. What, what was the difference tonight where that, you know, the group's ability to correct the course wasn't there? Well, I, I think... Um, you know, I think hockey is a pretty fair game when you're, you know, maybe a mistake gets made here or there and you're able to claw your way back in. Tonight, uh, I just didn't think we were sharp. I didn't think we had it. Um, I didn't think we skated well. I didn't think our battle level was where it needed to be. So, you know, when we did have those offensive chances, and we did, we had numerous outnumbered rushes. We had a couple, uh, I can think of three two-on-ones when the game was 1-1 or 2-1. Um, you know, we didn't convert on them. Usually that's the way it is when you're not sharp. Um, as I said, to a man, not good enough tonight. Um, disappointing. Um, but we'll go and we'll make sure uh, that we learn from it and get better. Your power play is all year giving you a boost in a lot of games, right? It's a momentum boost. It's obviously a boost in the scoreboard. When you don't get any power plays, what does your team have to do to kind of create that boost some other way? Well, as I said, you know, I think our team wasn't good enough in any area tonight. Uh, maybe the penalty kill was the brightest spot for our team tonight in a, in a night with not a lot of bright spots. Um, you know, I think you worry about the things that are within your control. And uh, I think there's a lot of situations all of us could have handled better. Jay, the, uh, the McLeod line with uh, Fogel and Ryan, that a lot of their underlying numbers have been good. They get rewarded with the goal tonight. What have you let, they were probably your best line tonight, I think, by far. What, what, what have you liked from them in the series? Yeah, well, you know, it's nice to have Derek Ryan back in the lineup. Um, I think uh, that group, when they play together, have a good chemistry. Um, they play forward, they play simple, and because they play forward and simple, they play a faster type of game. Um, they were able to convert early for us. That's a positive. Um, but, um, you know, I think uh, anytime they're going, it makes us a deeper team. 
Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins mentioned that you had a game plan and you wanted to make it hard on their D, get pucks behind him. He said you kind of diverted away from it quickly. Yeah. Um, when you see that happening as a coach, what can you do sometimes to try to get it back? And, you know, did you, obviously you remind them, but what did you feel? Why did they divert and then we're not able to get back to how you wanted to play? Well, um, you know, it's no secret that we didn't stick to our script tonight. And when we don't stick to our script or we go off script, we have trouble. Um, for us, what, do, what can you do about it? Um, we're at the point in the year, we're playing hockey in the middle of May right now. A lot of uh, the the proper things are being said on, on the bench. Unfortunately, we didn't go out and execute, and that's on all of us. As I said, I keep bringing it back to we can be better uh, to a man, um, and we're going to have to be. Jay, could you tell early in the game when they're circling the net and getting right into the slot and shooting on Stewart that you weren't checking very well, giving them far too many easy shots? I, th I, I thought we um, areas or parts of the rink where we have to be a lot harder. Um, we weren't always burned on it, but eventually uh, if you keep putting your hand on the stove, you do get burned. And, um, you know, for us, that's one of the areas we can be better for sure. And was Stewart pulled as kind of like a mercy pull because yeah. the team was not playing very well? I wouldn't characterize it like that. I would I'd characterize it as, you know, we're at the point in the game, we're trying to change, slow the game down a little bit, change a little bit of the momentum. Um, you know, we, we win as a team and we don't win as a team. Uh, this isn't done any one individual. I keep coming back to it. But to a man, all of us, um, it would be a whole lot better. So your response has to, I presume, be, be the same as theirs last game, where they were vowed that that was a bad game and you have to come back with the same sort of determination. Yeah, well, I worry about my team, Jim. And for me, um, we're going to dig into the things that uh, didn't go right tonight and we're going to work to correct them. Um, and part of that is, you know, honest self-assessment, number one. Uh, and then two, uh, the ability to give your team something that they can sink their teeth into or hang their hat on. Uh, in the end, we, uh, we know that that, what we showed tonight, isn't the recipe. It wasn't good enough. Uh, we own that, and uh, we're going to work to make sure it doesn't happen again. Thank you.